Broccoli and broccoli sprouts produce a compound, sulforaphane, that appears to target breast cancer cells. But this is in a test tube. Right? How do we even know we absorb sulforaphane into our bloodstream when we eat broccoli? And even if we do, how much do we have to eat to arrive at these test tube concentrations where it counts, in breast tissue itself where a tumor may be evolving? An innovative group at Hopkins figured it out. Let's find women scheduled for breast reduction surgery, and an hour before they go into the operating room, have them drink some broccoli sprout juice. And that's what they did. They collected breast tissue from eight women an hour after broccoli, and here's what they found. An average of 2 picomoles per milliliter in their left breasts, and 1.45 in their right. So now, for the first time ever, not only do we know that the broccoli we eat ends up in the right place, but we know the final tissue concentration. So what does that correspond to here? This is what broccoli sprouts do to boast estrogen receptor positive and estrogen receptor negative breast cancer cells. To continually bathe the tissues of one's breast at these, this concentration, you'd have to eat a quarter of a cup of broccoli sprouts a day, a half a cup, and about a cup and a quarter. In other words, it's doable. I just put them on my salad. Real-world effects at real-world doses.